Welcome back to another three minute tutorial. Today we're talking about hair and how to fix it. Now there are lots of things that can go wrong with hair and it's probably consistently the thing that people complain about the most in their photos. They worry about how their hair looks. Now no matter if you do everything right, sometimes you still have to deal with these problems in post-production and one of those problems is filling in gaps that you can see the background through. So I have developed a really cool technique using the marquee tool to fix this in just a few seconds. Now before we start the timer, I just want to remind you about my podcast. It's called Photobomb. It comes out every week and I co-host it with my good friend Boo Ray Perry. I'll put a link to that and to his YouTube channel in the description. Now start the timer. So fixing gaps in hair is one of the many, many things I use the marquee tool for. This is just a selection tool that has different shapes. In this case, I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm going to select an area that I'm going to use to cover up this part, this hole in the hair. And so I'm going to grab something that's similar in color, similar in uh, sharpness. You want to make sure that you do that so that it's pretty convincing. I'm going to select this big area right here on that background layer. And now I'm going to hit Command J or Control J on a PC. And that's going to put that on its own layer, right? Okay. So now I'm going to hit V to grab my move tool and I'm going to reduce the opacity of that layer to about 50%. And now as I drag it across, I'll be able to see what's underneath it, see where I'm going to put it. Now the hair has a natural flow to it. And I also want to adjust this selection a little bit so that I can make it go a little more with the flow and also make it not look so much like it was just copied from another part of her head. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit Command T or Control T on a PC, and that's going to make this selection transformable. Now I'm going to right click or Control click on this selection and going to select Warp. Now this allows you to move the hair and to shape it a little bit without actually changing the size directly like you're used to. And so I can push this around so that the flow of the hair is going to match what's underneath it a little better. And it's going to look even less like it was copied from another place. Now hit Enter when you're done bring my opacity back up to 100% and then I'm going to add a layer mask by hitting the layer mask button and then I'm going to invert that layer mask by hitting command I control I on a PC to invert it into a hide all mask which means I will be painting back what I just made invisible so hit B to select your brush hit D on your keyboard to select your default foreground and background colors and that will bring white to the forefront usually and I'm going to make my brush nice and soft at about 60% opacity. Just hit the number six on your keyboard is an easy way to get there. Now I'm going to paint in using white. And this is going to bring that hair back exactly where I want it. Now, if you go over, if you screw up a little bit, that's fine. Like I've done up here at the top, I'm going to hit X and that will switch between foreground and background colors on my paintbrush, which will bring black to the forefront. And now I can just edge that back a little bit. And you can just paint around until you're kind of happy with the way that it looks. And I'm pretty good there. Cool. All right. I think we got a winner. And now in order to finish it off, just to blend it a little better, I'm going to bring the opacity of that layer down to about 90-ish, 95%. And that's just going to blend it even a little more. So now you can repeat this on any other gaps that you find in hair anywhere on your image. So let's see what it looks like in the beginning. So it looks like at the end. And there you have it. I know what you're thinking. Gary, you make it look too easy. That's true, I do. But now you can use this technique for all kinds of cool stuff moving forward. Use your imagination. I'm probably going to dedicate a whole bunch of videos just to all the different things you can do with the marquee tool. But that's for another time. Anyway, don't forget to like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified when I put out another video. And please don't forget to check out the Photobomb podcast, a link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.